Hi Econ students and welcome back to another explainer series video. Today's topic, the Phillips curve. Please note that this is video one in a two part series dealing with the Phillips curve. Let's start at the beginning. In 1958, an economist named A.W. Phillips published an article on the relationship between wage inflation and the unemployment rate. In this famous article, Phillips found an inverse relationship between wage inflation and the unemployment rate. Since the publication of his article, numerous economists started to investigate the same relationship as what Philip did. As research progressed, the relationship extended to include not only wage inflation, but inflation in general. The relationship between inflation and unemployment is found to be negative or inverse. That became known today as the Phillips curve. Importantly, the negative relationship signifies a trade-off between inflation and unemployment. Phillips therefore suggests that one cannot increase without a decrease in the other. If we want to reduce inflation, this would be at the cost of higher unemployment. The Phillips curve therefore illustrates an inverse or trade-off between inflation and unemployment. This negative relationship can be illustrated on our Phillips curve. On our y-axis we will have our inflation rate and on our x-axis we will have our unemployment rate. And here we have our downward sloping Phillips curve. Now in order to illustrate this trade-off, we will start at point A, where we will have an inflation rate of 6% and an unemployment rate of 8%. Suppose that we are dealing with an economy that focuses largely on employment and will therefore need to reduce the unemployment rate. This can be done by accepting a higher rate of inflation. We will therefore move from point A upwards along our BC curve to point B. At point B, we will have an inflation rate of 10% and an unemployment rate of 2%. The unemployment rate therefore reduced from 8 to 2 at the cost of higher inflation from 6 to 10%. Now suppose that we are dealing with an economy who focuses largely on inflation. Again, we will start at point A and we want to reduce our inflation rate to 4%. By doing this, we will move along our PC curve to point C. Here we will have a lower rate of inflation at the cost of a higher rate of unemployment. And that concludes the Phillips curve. Please stay tuned for our next video where we will discuss and illustrate cost push and demand pull inflation.